Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. On today's show, we're going to talk about water softener systems. So what they are and how they work, how to do their proper maintenance. We're going to discuss the differences between hard water and soft water. And I'm going to show you lab analysis results of the water hardness levels in my home. So before I added the system and after I added the water softener system to see if it performs as expected. As in all my videos, I'll keep things super simple and once you're done watching, you'll learn everything there is to know about water softener systems. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome back to all my regular viewers, and for all of you for whom it's the first time that you watch one of my videos, I strongly recommend that you click the subscribe button, that way you won't miss my future videos. Alright, so today we talk about water softeners. These machines essentially reduce the water contaminants and scale buildup and extend the lifespan of your home appliances. So what is hard water? Essentially hard water contains large amounts of dissolved calcium, magnesium, iron and other particles. So depending on what country and even which city you're living in, you can have hard water coming in from your main city source. So among the main disadvantages of having hard water come into your home, number one, it can leave a film of soap scum on your dishes and bathroom fixtures. Number two, it can cause mineral buildup in your appliances and your pipes. Number three, it can reduce the efficiency of your heating elements in the water heaters. Number four, it can produce corrosion and rust. Number five, it reduces the lather of soap and shampoo during showers and baths. And number six, it can make your laundry feel stiffer and look less vibrant. So to determine if you have hard water, you need to take a water sample from your tap and bring it to your local dealer to have it analyzed. Water hardness is measured in milligrams per liter. Soft water has a hardness range of less than 20 milligrams per liter. Hard water comes in at 121 to over 180 milligrams per liter. There are also some visual signs to let you know that your water might be hard. It will leave soap scum behind on your sinks and in your bathtub and it will also lead to scale buildup in washing machines, dishwashers, water heaters, humidifiers, and coffee makers. So this is where a water softener system comes into play. Now this is an ion exchange system, meaning it will remove all the metal particles and contaminants from your water, act like a magnetic sponge to pull those minerals away and leave you with soft water. So how they work, essentially, they take the water coming in from your main water supply line, it runs through a tank that contains resin, so there are tons of little ionic beads in there, and the water flows through that resin, and the resin takes away all the hard minerals, so calcium, magnesium, and iron, and other contaminants, removes it from your water, and then returns some nice clean water for your home. So a water softener system contains two tanks, the main tank in which we have the resin that cleans away the water and makes it soft. And then we have a second tank that contains salt. So if we open the second tank, you can see there are some fine particles of salt in there, some typical salt. So at the bottom of this salt tank, there's also some water in order to create a salt brine. So every couple of days, this salt brine is flushed into the resin tank to clean away and wash away all those hardness ions and those hard ions get then rinsed and sent into your wastewater drain. So it's that simple. Maintenance is super easy. There's nothing to do other than add bags of salt into the tank. So every month or so, just look in and if you see that there's some salt missing, you take your bag, you pour it in there, you close the lid back up, you seal it, and you're good to go. These machines will run anywhere from 15 to 20 years depending on their use. The typical household with two adults will go through one or two bags per month and at an average cost of $5 per bag, that's roughly $120 per year, so it's quite economical. There are many advantages of using a water softener system. So number one, you're lowering your energy costs by reducing the scale buildup in your water heater. You can reduce the amount of soap you need in order to create lather. You extend the lifetime of plumbing. You get a silkier feel of the water when washing. Your clothes will feel softer and they'll look more vibrant after you're done washing them. And also your skin will feel much softer and your hair as well. So hopefully you can see this well, but essentially the water flows into the city, goes through a pre-filter to capture all the bigger particles. 
it then gets sent into the resin tank so this is where the ion exchange takes place and this is where your water gets softened so every four to five days or whenever the system needs it there is a regeneration process for the resin and so as we explained there is a salt brine contained in the second tank it gets sent in to the resin tank to flush it out and then it gets rinsed into your wastewater drain now the techs who installed my system were nice enough to keep a cutout of the original water supply piping that was coming through the city and keep in mind my home is fairly new it was built new in 2012 so it's only five years old and look at this the water pipe already contained some metal particles that are deposited on the sides of the piping and you can see lime scale buildup as well all that orange gunk and this pipe is supposed to be white and already look how it changed color if hard water can do this to a fairly new home imagine when it can do to your pipes in a period of 5 10 or 20 years so to test for the efficiency and performance of the water softener system i went ahead and had a lab analysis done of my tap water before i added the water softener and after I added the water softener system. So if we look at the numbers, the three key figures here are the total water hardness. So before I added the system, it was at a level of 40 milligrams per liter of calcium carbonate. The iron total was at 0.4 milligrams per liter and the manganese total was at 0.04 milligrams per liter. So these were still either below the norm and the standard or close to it. So my water wasn't really hard per se. So if we now look at the lab analysis report for the tap water after I added the the water softener system the numbers speak for themselves so the total water hardness levels dropped to 20 milligrams per liter of calcium carbonate the iron total dropped to 0.3 milligrams per liter and the manganese total dropped to just 0 0.02 milligrams per liter so all within recommended spec for soft water so guys i hope i was able to demystify what a water softener system is and what it does if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, you'll be able to click the card above and watch my other DIY videos. If you like my content and wanna see more, you gotta make sure to click the subscribe button that's found under this video. That way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So that's it for me guys, thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.